Prior to joining the team at SF Jazz, I was the executive director of a nonprofit in Central Florida. At this organization, I was the youngest ever executive director and the only ever executive director of color. We were able to get a lot of students who were young of color and women because they were able to see themselves represented. I really hope that I can encourage other young women of color to step into roles that may seem out of reach. Aim high, land higher. I would say that the women that have come before me are the people that have really broken the barriers in this field and I am where I am today because of those um, challenges faced before me. Um, I do think though that I am often the only woman in the room, sometimes the only person of color in the room, and many times in my life I've been the only woman of color in the room. And I think that there is a responsibility I have to debunk the model minority myth and to get people used to a voice like mine being at the table. I try to break barriers for women in my field or in work by making vulnerability and, op and open communication a priority. It matters to me that we can acknowledge that there's different ways to express or to relate to processes and projects. Um, and being sensitive and honest uh, should not be frowned upon. I feel so grateful that most of the jobs that I've had, I've been managed and have been led by really extraordinary women. And I really think that those are the people who have really paved the way for me to have a pretty easy time getting into this line of work.